good morning students welcome back to 6th standard science class let us start with the continuation of this lesson the living world of animals unit 5 in this lesson last week i explained about habitat of animals biodiversity and difference between unicellular and multicellular organisms today we learn about adaptations in animals if the animals live in particular habitat they develop some special features in their body for surviving in that habitat for example fish has some special features in their body like gills fins and scales which are help them to swim in water likewise all animals have some special features to live in their particular habitat adaptation that means the presence of specific body features for certain habits which enable a plant or an animal to live in a particular habitat is called adaptation that means if the plants or animals has some specific body features which help them to live in their particular habitat that is known as adaptation so simply that the specialized features of animal is known as adaptation next we learn about adaptation of fish that fish lives in both fresh water and marine water that is sea water how the fish live in water and how it breathe in water and how it swim let us explain the specialized features of fish first one is the streamline body and second one is gills and third one scales and fourth one is fins and fifth one is tail first streamline body the fish has streamline shape body that means the sharp shape of the body is known as streamline body and second one gills the fish has a special organ called gills that is a respiratory organ of fish which help for breathing purpose for human beings which is the respiratory organ lungs is the respiratory organ likewise for fish the respiratory organ is gills and it is help in this breathing purpose that means to intake the oxygen and exhale the carbon dioxide so the gills are help to intake oxygen from water for the breathing purpose and third one is scale fish has scales all over the body which is very strong and help them to protect the skin of the fish and fourth one is fins fish contain fins which help in swimming and fifth one is tails fish has strong tail which help to change the direction while swimming in that water that is if the tail turn into right side that means the body of the fish move into left side like the tail turn into left side and the body of that fish can be move into right side and next we learn about adaptation of birds birds also contain some specialized features to adapt in their habitat place such as first one is streamline body beak and wings and cloud feet and tail and strong chest muscles or that first we learn about streamline body of birds how that fish contain that streamline body 
likewise the birds also contain the streamline body and that body is fully covered with feathers and second one is beak instead of mouth the birds have beak in their head and third one is pair of wings birds birds or breathe through lungs like humans and they have the pair of wings for flying in the sky and the bird has lightweight bones which help us to fly easily in the air and cloud feet and birds has a pair of cloud feet which help them to hop move run and perch in branch of tree that means the cloud feet give gripness to sit in the branch of the tree and tail birds has tail which help them to control the direction of the movement and next one is birds contain strong chest muscles which help to withstand the atmospheric pressure during flight and binocular vision the birds has binocular vision that means they see one object with one eye and another one object with another one eye at same times so students i hope you understand about that adaptation of fish and birds in next class we learn about the adaptation of camel and lizard thank you students